I'm using iTunes to make a full backup of my iPhone but the last time I tried to do a full backup I got an error message saying iTunes could not backup the iPhone because not enough free space is available on this computer when I went to computer I saw there's only 15 gig free on my hard drive I then navigate to iTunes backup location that in this computer is C users my username Apple folder mobile sync folder backup and then I checked the properties and I found out iTunes could make only 6 giga out of the 40 giga which is the real size of this iPhone backup one way to fix this problem is if you have another drive that have enough available space on the computer you can make iTunes to use this space for the backup but you can't do this from iTunes itself you need to create a junction inside Windows for this to work first go to iTunes original backup location that is in C users your username Apple folder mobile sync folder and rename the backup folder name you can do this by right clicking the folder and choose rename you can change it to something like backup.old then go to the drive with the available space and create a new folder named backup you can do this by navigating to the location and then right click on an empty space choosing from the menu new folder and instead of new folder type backup now you need to edit the command that will match your computer location so go to the start menu or search bar and type notepad this will open the notepad editor then type or copy from the description down below mk link space slash j then there is the original source folder location space new backup location then navigate again to the original folder where iTunes save the backups hold down the shift button on your keyboard and right click the backup.old folder and choose from the menu copy as path now go to your notepad document and mark the command part which is original source folder location and paste your selection you can do this by clicking Control plus V on the keyboard or right click and choose paste then delete the dot old from the command go to your new location and again hold the shift key on the keyboard and right click with the mouse and select copy as path then go to your notepad document and mark the second part of the command then right click paste your selection now mark the all command from the notepad and right click copy to copy it go to the start menu and type CMD this will open the command prompt window right click on the empty area inside that window and this should paste your selection into the CMD windows on your keyboard press the enter button if you see a message junction created for see your path then you succeeded a new folder with shortcut icon will be created in the iTunes original backup location you can make a short test with creating a file inside that folder then go to your new location and check if the file is there now you can test everything with the iTunes software connect your phone and click to backup when the backup process is done what you can see 
is that no space was used from the C drive and 22.8 giga of space was used in the D drive. So now, if something happens to the phone, or you want to replace your phone with another phone, or whatever, you want to erase your phone and test the backup, now it is possible to do it. The reason that some computers have a small hard drive for the C windows and a bigger hard drive for the data and files is that the manufacturers uh, using an SSD drive, a small one for the Windows and operating system, and using a HDD drive, the old fashioned drive for the data. This may cause you this issue that you have small space in the C drive and a lot of space on your D drive or other drive. It's also possible to use this method to keep and save your backups on a removable drive, but you need to pay attention to the assigned letter. Thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe if you like.